we are trying to produce an easy way to understand two pairs of spectacles, graded by how much they're blurred. First, we check the very best refraction and the best acuity, and then degrade the acuity by one logmar line, and then check astigmatism, rotations that can allow degraded vision to still be seen. Then we check that with grade B, three logmar, and finally with grade C, six logmar. Then we convert the spectacle prescription into a vector format, and we use the J naught as an X coordinate and the J45 as a Y coordinate on these, finding that the A, B, and C grades produce an oval. How would we compare two pairs of spectacle prescriptions? We have developed a transformation of the J0 by the J45 vector transformations of a spectacle prescription and place them in three dimensions against the spherical equivalent or M. Now when we take a spectacle and we convert it to that we find an oval. How do we get an oval? We take an oval piece of fruit like a mango and cut it and the inside shows a smaller oval uh, where the pit is. If we convert the target spectacle into an oval, it lies on the J naught by J45 coordinates with spectacle spherical equivalent as a vertical component and the candidate spectacle will hopefully ride somewhere in the middle small oval, the A grade, the outside, the B or the C grade, matching. This is how we transform the ovals A, B, and C grade on the X, Y axis. This is how to grade spherical equivalent and also pupillary distance. Let's compare these two spectacles, a target and a candidate. We use an Excel database on the ABCD website. Pull up the Excel. Enter the age, the target refraction and PD. and then the candidate refraction and PD. The XL shows an A grade cylinder, a B grade sphere, and a B grade PD. Spectacle comparison may help with lay dispensing of spectacles, automated refraction comparison, and forensic optometry. Thank you.